We all know that periodic maintenance is the key to making our power truck diesel truck last as long as possible. But how often we have to do it is the real key issue. And that depends on how you use your truck. Are you using it in a normal or an extreme situation? Normal situation would be you tow occasionally with it, you drive around and deliver materials and, and uh, 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 that sort of thing. You're, you're not using the truck close to its actual capacity on a regular basis. An extreme situation is where you're using the truck right out there at the very edge of what it's designed to do in terms of pulling loads, in terms of, in terms of uh, uh, actual wear and tear on the engine. Heat is the key issue here. Uh, if you're really pushing the engine to get it to go down the road because it's loaded so heavily all the time, then you're going to generate more heat. And as a result, the fluids are going to break down much more quickly. Uh, the components of the oil that, that lubricate and whatnot, the high-level components will evaporate out or be broken down and, and return to their native state, which is coal, uh, and which results in sludge and can damage your injectors and that sort of thing. That's why we change the oil and the fluids in the vehicle so that we get it before that happens. Now here's the good news. <clears throat> the good news is, is that Mercuron 5 is a semi-synthetic. Uh, uh, your latest motor oils are some of the very best out there. Uh, they don't break down as quickly as they used to. Even five years ago, motor oil would break down much more quickly. If you decide to run a synthetic motor oil, I encourage you to look at the uh, bypass uh, clip on this DVD set so that you understand exactly what you're getting into with that. It's more expensive. Uh, but it also can go a good bit further than uh, uh, just your standard motor oils. So the good news is, is that the, the fluids are actually better than they used to be and they don't break down as quickly. The bad news is, is that the 6 liter diesel engine is built to much tighter tolerances than the 7.3. The fluids have to be able to perform at a much higher level than they used to. Hey, this is great for 7.3 owners and it's great for 6 liter owners too. So we've got to determine whether you're in a normal or extreme situation. Now, if you go and dig in the glove box of your power stroke diesel truck, you're going to find this, unless you bought it used and someone threw it out. And this is the owner's manual. And if you turn into the owner's manual, it says that the interval for normal conditions should be 7,500 miles and extreme conditions 5,000 miles. I beg to differ. I've seen trucks have damage done to them for going too far on the maintenance intervals. That's what I've found. <clears throat> and this has been proven over and over and over by engines being damaged prematurely because they weren't looked at every 5,000 miles. I suggest 5,000 miles is normal, but if you're in an extreme, extreme situation, I would go to 3,500. Here's the reason why. The oil breaks down, and when the oil breaks down, it will damage engine components very quickly, especially the fuel injectors. Fuel injectors use oil to pressurize. As a result, when the, a motor oil breaks down and due to the precision of the fuel injector, it'll mess up the injectors and cause the truck to skip. 5,000 miles is the magic number and the reason why is because you will remember it. Even if the idiot at the oil change place doesn't put the sticker on your windshield, you know that at 35, 40, 45, 50, it's easy. Okay, that's why. Not 7,000, 14,000, 21, 28, you know, okay, we're going to 128. Oh, 35, you know, come on. It's 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Yeah, you're going to spend a little more money changing oil over the course of the uh, uh, ownership of the truck, but you're also going to get the added protection. Now, if you are in an extreme situation and you are pulling, you need to use a bypass oil filtration system, which go to that section and take a look at that. Bypass oil filtration system will take all that soot and all that crud out of there. In an extreme situation, you really need to be running synthetic oil so that it won't break down. But 5,000 is your intervals, okay, to bring the truck in and do the maintenance intervals at 5,000. So the real difference between normal and extreme is not the mileage difference, but the addition of a bypass system on an extreme duty situation. This is not to say that a bypass filtration system won't help you in a normal situation. Of course it will. It's just that the extreme people need it more. They really need that in a 6 liter. One of the keys to making the 6 liter go forever and ever and ever is that bypass filtration system. So go take a look at that section. We're going to focus on the 5,000 mile number because it's easy to remember. Everybody can remember to stop and do the maintenance on their vehicle at 5,000 mile intervals.
Well, so what are the maintenance intervals? Maintenance intervals, are, it's relatively easy. It's very simple, actually. You're, you do, at a 5,000 mile service, you do the oil change and a checklist. Even if you're running a bypass system, every 5,000 miles you're going to add a little additive to it. Prolong is what I suggest. So every 5,000 miles you need to stop and just take a quick look at it and go through the checklist. Make sure that everything is functioning correctly. So at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, when we get to 30,000 miles, we're going to do these things plus we're going to do these things. Transmission service and fuel filter. Very simple. So then we go 35, back up here we go 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. At 60, we do all of these things again. Okay? We continue that way until we get to 90. At 90,000 miles, we do all of these things. The oil change, the checklist, like we've been doing at 5,000 mile intervals, the transmission service and the fuel filter, which we've already done twice, once at 30, once at 60, and now at 90, we do all of these things again. But we also do coolant service and differential service. A tremendous amount of technology has come about in the last five or ten years in terms of fluids. Uh, the coolant is a hundred thousand mile coolant. I do it at 90 because that's the best interval to do it at. It's, it's sort of a compromise between normal and extreme. Differential service is a synthetic fluid. It lives an extremely long time. So long as there's not a seal failure, which you'll catch on your checklist if you're paying attention, the fluid will stay in there and work perfectly good until 90,000 miles. <clears throat> One of the things you don't see on this list is air filter. Air filter is part of the checklist. You will check your filter monitor every 5,000 miles. It's absolutely crucial that you do the checklist every 5,000 miles. In fact, it's probably the most important part of this entire program is to do the checklist every 5,000 miles so that you catch something before it comes an issue.